All right, like I said in the introduction video, I'm gonna keep you guys wanting more, okay? We're gonna keep these lessons very short. I'm using a, just the trackpad on the Mac. I know it's recommended to use a mouse with this program, but uh, I just don't feel like hooking up my mouse, okay? So if you're playing right along with me with uh, your laptop, hey, you're, you're in good shape, right? Uh, two fingers touching the trackpad right now, just kind of swiveling around here in perspective view, right? We don't have anything on the scene. If you take your two fingers, you pinch it in and out, you're zooming, all right? Now, here's something to remember. I'm holding down the shift key, okay? And just with those same two fingers again going back and forth, right? And you can see that it's uh, it's no longer kind of swiveling me around like that. It's uh, kind of more just going back and forth horizontally, okay? So keep that in mind. Shift, write that down on your little pad of notes, okay? Uh, next thing we're going to do, I'm going to hit Shift A, okay? And uh, when you do that, you get to the Add menu over here. Let's just put a cube in here, all right? So there's a little cube guy. And let's just talk about moving this guy around. Well, first off, by default, you can see it's already kind of selected in such a way that I can move it. See, I can hit either this blue arrow, green one, or the red one. If you're confused which way, which direction or, or which axis that's on, you can always look down here, right? Green, green. And uh, just hit undo to uh, go back. You can see the hotkeys that I'm using over here. I'm gonna try to explain all of them. All right, so uh, let's pretend that uh, this is not selected. <laughs> An easy way to pretend that, let's deselect it. So I'm just gonna hit A, all right? Uh, a is gonna deselect and select, okay? So boom, back and forth, back and forth like that, right? Uh, just toggling on and off of whatever I had selected previously, okay, or I can just click on it to select it, okay. Uh, now, if I hit G, you'll notice that just right away, no matter what, I, what I'm doing, I'm not pressing down on anything, I'm just moving my finger around on the keypad, it's already moving this guy around. Now, for the most part, you probably don't want that. I mean, it gives you kind of a close approximation of where, where you know, this thing could go. Uh, but uh, let's, uh, let's stop moving it around jump cut sorry about that and uh, what we're going to do is uh, let's let's go back and deselect it again all right so i'm just going to hit uh i'm just going to click on it now i'm going to hit uh g which is going to make it so i can move it around uh and then i'm going to hit whatever axis i want to move around on on the keyboard so x y or z right so let's hit y you'll notice i get this green line over here and now again just move my finger back and forth i'm not clicking down or anything on the trackpad it's going in that direction z it's going to move it up and down X, you can see, and, and again, we, we get our corresponding colors with uh, which, where we're moving. And then when I click, it, it you know basically places it there, right? Now, at any time, I can go and I can hit these same little arrows again over here, you know, find that one, move it around. So best of both worlds, right? So remember, that's hitting G is going to switch it into your basically move mode, okay? Uh, and then... X, Y, or Z on the keyboard. And that's gonna be the same, that's gonna also be true when we start to scale and rotate this thing. We'll get into another video. Uh, last thing I wanna show you guys, uh, if you wanna get rid of something, hit X, okay? So hold down X and it's gonna give you this little prompt, delete, and that guy is gone. Okay, that's video one. I told you these are gonna be short, so there you go.